um, sometimes they're literally like a ruler, a 12 inch long thing. You peel them open and there's the fava beans. You boil them for one minute, put them under cold water, and then just pop the bean outside of that clear pot or shell. Just a buttery, right? These are wonderful flavors that make you want to eat healthy, eat seasonal, but you know, feel good. And we've got these recipes, by the way. Go ahead, listeners, crash our website as you always do when Kathy comes on. Uh, here and now, Donald, we've got some of these recipes for salads. And we want to take a second because she is so terrific. Kathy just won a James Beard Award for Journalism in the Home Cooking category for her article, Cabbage Craft. Yes, she could do more with cabbage. <laughs> and it appeared in Eating Well magazine, but we, we recommend all of her writing, all of her books. Uh, please check Kathy Gunst out if you aren't already one of those who crashes the website to find out about her. Kathy, thanks. Thanks, guys. Thank you so much. And here and now is a production of NPR and WBUR in association with the BBC World Service. Again, those recipes at hereandnow.org. I'm Jeremy Hobson. I'm Robin Young. This is Here and Now. Funding for Here and Now comes from WBUR Boston and only College of Engineering. Focusing on project and design-based education with the goal of inspiring the next generation of technical innovators needed to solve the world's challenges. More information is available at olden.edu. You're listening to Here and Now on WAMU, 88.7 degrees at Northwest Washington. All things considered begins in less than one minute. Glad to report this afternoon on Elliot Francis. Hi, I'm Matt Lesson. When you're planning tomorrow's activities, there are things you have to do. And things you want to do. This is Morning Edition from NPR News. I'm Steve Inslee. We're there for you with the latest news, and we always take time to put a smile on your face. In this country, unemployment is dropping and GDP is on the rise. Wake up tomorrow with Morning Edition, starting at 5. Coming up later tonight at 6 on Marketplace, Tyson's Foods is going to stop feeding antibiotics to chickens. Could this idea spread to the rest of the livestock industry? And Coke Industries will no longer ask job applicants if they've been convicted of a felony. We'll hear about efforts to ban the box. It's at 6 on Marketplace. Then at 8 on the World Food, you'll get the latest on the ongoing rescue and recovery efforts following this past weekend's devastating earthquake in Nepal. That's at 8. This is WMU Washington, your community-supported NPR news station from American University. In HD at 88.5, at WRIU 88.3 in Ocean City, at WYAU 89.5 in Spotsylvania, Fredericksburg, and streaming at WAMU.org. It's 4 o'clock. They're not protesting. They're not making a statement. They're stealing. President Obama found the looters in Baltimore, a city on edge, after riots over the death of the man in police custody. For Tuesday, April 28th, it's all things considered. I'm Robert Siegel. And I'm Audie Cornish. Coming up the latest from Baltimore and these stories. That unlikely nonprofit, the National Football League, is giving up its tax exempt status. The reason the league is giving up its tax exemption is so that they can stop disclosing the amounts of money that Goodell and the other top officials of the league make. The role of unions in the 2016 election. By Mouse, the graphic novel about the Holocaust is being taken out of Russian bookstores. And who dominates competitive U.S. ballroom dancing.